guys, this is AWP. I'm Paul. I'm Daniel. I'm April. Guys, we are out here at the Parallel Forest in Lawton, Oklahoma. Check it out, isn't that awesome behind us? These trees, there are over 20,000 red cedar trees planted on just a little over 16 acres. And there is a ton of lore, a ton of uh, craziness that happens out here. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later, but we just wanted to introduce you to the Parallel Forest We are not getting out of here with with not knowing where we're at. Yeah, that way. There's the arrow. <laughs> but hey, guess what? We're about to we're about to see the altar. Yeah. Lots of life out here, guys. Uh, yeah, I heard something back over there. Oh, that's a fun stuff. Here's the altar. Actually, this was actually a uh, well, no, a, an ore crusher from the Spanish gold miners. Who they actually uh, disappeared as well. So it's gone off twice. Now it's not going to do it. Yeah, hers went off twice. That pit ball, the K2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it went all the way to the middle <coughs> twice. Don't so let me were... forget that. When we yeah. were talking about natives. What? Say that again? The when we were talking about natives on those rocks over there, the K2 went to the middle twice. There it goes. Yep. Yes. Okay. There it goes. Yep. Yep. Yes. All right, well, I mean, we start getting, as soon as we start putting stuff out here, this thing starts going off like gangbusters. Oh, it's sitting on stone. Limestone. Limestone. I didn't touch this. I didn't set that one. I, I, I set that one there. Was there any kind of? vibration or anything on the rock? Uh, honestly, I didn't feel it. Yeah, fill that stone. The, the one beside it or the one that's the one that The one that pebble is on. Let's see if you feel anything. It's wet. So you felt it was wet? wet? 
Yeah, it like compared to the other ones around it, it was like moist. Like like Okay. So do you feel something behind you? Yeah. Okay. Remember when I said it's okay, come out? Yeah. Caught a little bit, but it's just said to your right, and it didn't pick it up. What? Daughter. What did that say? Is it picking up your mind, baby? Daughter. Yeah, pick up mind. It's trying to pick up both of our thoughts. Is it going? Is yours going through? The area in Oklahoma known as the Wichita Mountains is known for its picturesque scenery, waterfalls, rugged terrain, and diverse wildlife. But there's one place most visitors to our state don't even know exist, the Parallel Forest. The suspected haunted parallel forest in Oklahoma was built in 1912 by the federal government as an experiment to deal with the effects of drought. Over 20,000 red cedars were planted exactly six feet apart in every direction on just over 16 acres. And, as one might suspect, a creepy forest so weirdly uniform looking has developed over the years many sinister stories of hauntings urban legends, satanic rituals, witchcraft ceremonies, and anything else that might invoke a sense of macabre, unpleasant, and eerie feelings. When you're driving along the highway through the Wichita Mountains, just look for the little cement pad and line of cedars along the side of the road. Once you step into the forest, no matter which way you look, you'll see trees lined up exactly six feet apart in every direction. During the spring and summer months, the sunlight is blocked by the canopy of branches and leaves overhead, so the eerie feeling feels even more ominous as the trails can be rather dark. Hidden in a far corner of the forest is a rock formation that is rumored to be a satanic altar. Visitors say they get weird vibes when they stand near it. However, it is just an old relic left behind by Spanish gold miners. But the rumors of satanic rituals and witchcraft ceremonies have persisted over the years, with witnesses reporting seeing people in robes either walking in, walking out of the forest, or some reports have actually been eyewitnessed to seeing actual ceremonies taking place at the altar itself. There have also been reports of a goat man, deer woman, Dogman, skinwalkers, orbs and photographs, and even feelings of being touched while walking through the trails. Whether you go just to see this historical piece of land and take in the exquisite beauty, or just looking for a supernatural encounter, remember this, keep your bearings. There have been many reports of people going missing over the years. For instance, just last month, it was reported that a man went missing in the Wichita Wildlife Refuge. But what it also says is that this is the second person in a month that has gone missing in the refuge. And if you look even further, you can find reports throughout the years of people going missing within the refuge area, but not necessarily the parallel forest. Now that's a bit weird. 
What we also see is that the local officials called off the search after finding no other sign of the man other than his car parked somewhere in the wildlife refuge. What it also does not say is whether or not the man was believed to be missing within the parallel forest. Nor does it say that any of the older cases of missing persons that I found through a Google search said anything about anybody missing in the parallel forest. This lends credence to the rumors about local law enforcement and other agencies hiding the numbers of those lost, murdered, and dumped in the parallel forest itself or even other activities such as satanic black masses or witchcraft ceremonies. Spirit, we're asking for you to visit us tonight. We are inviting you to come and talk to us. We are visitors here, and we're standing at this altar as it's been used for, and we just ask that you uh, make yourself known. Why did you come? We came to communicate. We're here. Ooh. They just say we're here. It said we're here, yeah. Thank you. Can you touch one of the devices? Asylum. What? Asylum. Huh. I did say that there was people that escaped to here. Where's the nearest asylum? Oh, yeah. Um, that... There actually, I think, used to be one in Lawton. Really? Yeah. Did you escape the asylum? I'll double check where we can get some services. Yeah. Well, that, uh, those paragraph changes I read earlier, it said that there was people that escaped here. Or, in the other way of thinking about asylum, but like, in the positive light, like when you retreat somewhere. Anybody else hear that? Oh yeah. It, go go retreat somewhere. That that's True. your asylum. Yeah, you're seeking asylum. Yeah. Right. Safe haven. Yeah. Right. Some of the uh, kind of uneven here. Some of the lore about. The parallel forest is there is a dangerous criminal element out of the Lawton area that has been known to father. Did you say father? Yeah. Oh, wow. That has been known to um, bury their their dead bodies out here. There have been multiple dead bodies found out here over the years. Which, I mean, getting back to this place was kind of difficult. Yeah, I mean, we, we had to search, for sure. Well, how many uh, people did we run into that this was their first time finding it? They've been out here several times. Oh, yeah, we talked to a guy from Florida who's <laughs> been out here. It took him three tries to come out here, walking through the trails to, to find the spot that we're in. And then that, that family that had been out here several times, and today was the first time they found Yeah, I mean, so this isn't exactly easy to find. Um, but, uh, with that said, it's also treated this, the parallel forest has also been treated like the suicide my place. Wow. This is my place. Yes, it is. We're visiting here. Can you come touch one of these things that we have laid out behind us? So at any rate, the, the parallel forest has also been treated like the, um, suicide forest in Japan. There have been over the years, there have been, uh, multiple people that have come out here to commit suicide and, and i mean how many people get lost out here well and that's another thing people have a tendency to get lost out here because of the fact that the forest is so um dense well and and it's, it's all 
straight lines and it's very uh, disorienting. Even though the parallel forest itself is only on a little over 16 acres, which is not that big, um, it's very disorienting and there's other, we oh. are, what? Down. We are in the Down. Down. Wichita Mount, Mountains um, Wildlife Refuge. Oh, anyway. All right, so where was I at? Um, whoa. That's a frog. Yeah, it is. Crazy frog. Psycho frog. <laughs> like psycho kitty. Even though the parallel forest is only just a little over 16 acres, there is other wildlife. You know, there's, there's, we're in the middle of a mountain range, so you you might cross out of the parallel forest and find yourself even more lost in the wilderness that's out here so i mean yes the parallel forest itself is confined to 16 acres or so but <laughs> don't I, worry that was just a frog I'm, I'm, <laughs> tell you, I'm telling you something was messing with me um but there, you know, we've got beautiful mountain range to the west of us, a beautiful mountain range to the east of it. I can get, I get it. I, I get how people can get lost out here. I really, coming out here now, I'm like, wow, okay, yeah. I, I can, I can understand that. It, it has been raining a lot. It is getting darker out here, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm going to uh, step inside this inner circle here. A little spirit box session. Okay, spirit of the parallel forest. I have this in my hand. And you can do two things with what's in my hand. You can communicate through it. And you can also manipulate a light on this device. You can turn it red or blue. Is there anybody out here with us right now? on in my hand can you make it turn blue the dear lady out here what about the goat man the dog man are there any souls here that were murdered and left here. Are there any souls out here that came out here to commit suicide? I heard a little bit of something trying to come through right there. Come on, use your energy. 
try hard and speak to us. We want to communicate. Tell us your story. Tell us your name. Whole lot of nothing going on. I'm going to give you some time. We come in peace. We do not mean harm. Anyway, all we want to do is communicate. Alright, I'm getting the chills. And that just started turning red. I started getting the chills and that started turning red. Thank you. Can you do it again, please? I'm still, anybody else feeling the chills? Yes. I'm, there, there. I'm feeling a flow of energy. Whatever that was that set this off and that made me feel the chills. Can you come back? Can you do it again, please? I'm feeling something over here. I just feel something over here right now. Right over here, like this area over here. Yeah, I'm feeling something. something watching us from over there? Did I strike a nerve with something that I said? That was actually a story of uh, somebody that had come in here and I don't know whereabouts in the forest, but as they were walking the trails, they saw like an arm sticking up out of the ground. And so they, for like a hand. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, right. That should, that should work. So this is nothing but limestone. And there's running water, which I don't know if you can see, obviously, uh, God, I'm going to break my leg. Uh, Cleo's playing in the water. <laughs> Trying to like the child he is. Yes, these rocks. Yes. My light is drawing bugs left and right, obviously. Let me see if I can go red. There we go. I like that better. this limestone in the water for sure. How do you like get this and bottle it and sell it? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I mean it's like the perfect combination. It feels good. It just feels good. Well I'm standing here you know on this limestone in the middle we got water all around us and I'm feeling rejuvenated almost. Yeah, so we were um, hanging out here at the limestone in the uh, creek and or the river, whatever. And 
all of a sudden a whole bunch of snakes start coming out y'all see them yeah i gotta get some of one of this this is one of them oh Careful. Uh, my knee take it's rolling Well, unfortunately, the snakes, plus the fact that I tweaked my knee and my ankle, well, unfortunately, that made it to where we kind of had to end the night there. Um, the snakes, not really so much, although it was kind of funny. Uh, I don't know how many we saw on the actual video, but believe you me, there were plenty enough for me, okay? <laughs> So anyway, please, guys, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow us at Facebook at After Walker Paranormal. You can follow us on Instagram at After Walker Paranormal and Twitter X at Paranormal Green. Guys, everybody, keep it creepy. We'll see you next week with a new video next Friday, 8 p.m. 